Are you thinking about moving to Newark, California? Do you want to know everything you need to know about this city? What are the pros and cons of this area? My name is Spencer Sue. I'm a real estate agent here in the Bay Area. So if you're thinking about buying or selling in this city or anywhere in the Bay Area, let's connect. My team has helped over 250 families in the last several years make their moves buying and selling here. So we know everything that you need to know about every single city that you can think of depending on your budget and your goals. What this means for you is that we're gonna help you be four times more successful in finding your dream place and achieving your goals versus the average agent. We're gonna cover several things about this city. We're gonna first talk about the pros and cons. We're gonna then talk about the city and its layout on a map using Google Maps. Then we're gonna talk about what are the things that you can do in this city. Lastly, we're gonna talk about real estate and what you can expect here from a budget perspective and also a type of home perspective. Let's get into it. Number one, let's go over the pros and cons. So let's talk about all the pros. Why do people want to live in Newark? Number one, the location. Because Meta has expanded and done so well on Menlo Park, they have a huge presence in that region. But also, quite frankly, most of the high paying jobs are along the peninsula. So Newark is gonna be as close as possible to the peninsula through the bridge. That is by far the number one reason why it has done well in the past and why it will likely continue to do very well moving forward. Number two, it's actually fairly affordable for the size that you can get. We'll talk about that towards the end so you can see for yourself. For this dollar amount, I can get this size and this condition. You will see that and you can compare that versus the homes that you can get in the peninsula or Fremont or even the South Bay. Number three, excellent Asian food. There is a lot of great commercial spots, grocery stores, and diversity when it comes to delicious Asian food. So that is also a very, very popular reason why people are choosing that city. Now let's talk about the general cons. Newark is not known for schools. The schools have done better over time. They're now four to six rated but people tend to go to Newark and then once their kid gets to a certain grade level, maybe it's elementary school, then they try to go to the private school or they usually move on to another area that has a good school district like the Tri-Valley, places like Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, these other areas. Number two, you may not know this, but because it's so close to the bay, it has very high winds. So while the weather is pleasant, it isn't like Daly City where it's always foggy and cloudy, it is very windy all the time. Number three, sometimes you're gonna be on the west side of it, closer to the bay, because there are the salt ponds and the marshlands there, you may have a sense of smell there. It really depends on where exactly you are relative to Newark. And if you're closer to the west, where all the new construction is, just be mindful of that. Last but not least, it's pretty much a suburb. There is no nightlife, there is no downtown. So if that's something what you're looking for, you're gonna actually pretty much go cross back to the bridge to be able to get to your closest downtown town from that area. But let's talk about the map itself. I'm going to be going over how is Newark laid out and I'm going to go over it clockwise and we're going to start pretty much for the east part of Newark. So the east part of Newark, you actually start off with some of the things that you may have seen and driven by all the time past 880, which is New Park Mall. Now New Park Mall has gone through a lot of changes throughout the years. I remember when I was there in my high school days, lots of high schoolers would hang around there. But over time, they started improving upon their anchor stores. So as big anchor stores disappeared and fell off, like for example, Sears was there as one of the anchor stores. I actually worked at that Sears, I think it was during my high school days or something like that. So once the Sears came out, it kind of was empty for a while and then ultimately became a AMC theater in that area. But over time, you can see even now there's a newer Costco that opened up. So there's a lot of interesting things that are happening, especially on these larger spaces when it comes to this particular mall. So the New Park Mall in general has gone through changes. It's not getting torn down, especially now if you have the AMC movie theaters, which is like the only movie theater in Newark. And then you also have the Costco that newly got added in and you still got some restaurants on the perimeters. Now, as you go towards more east of it, there's a basically a few plazas around there. So there's some smaller retail centers. So you have small restaurants that are in this vicinity. You also have a lot of hotels here. Funny enough, a lot of these hotels are calling themselves Fremont, but they're technically actually, if you look at the location itself, it's not really Fremont. But people know of Fremont mainly because of the Tesla factory. So a lot of people that are at Tesla from all over, they may stay at these nearby hotels. But around this, really just a couple of smaller commercial plazas, commercial shops. This used to be a whole lot bigger, this Fremont Auto Mall. The location, the address is actually Newark. So just be mindful of that. You may have seen the signs all the time. You're like, hey, look, that's still in Fremont. But no, a lot of this is actually in Newark. It just doesn't have that branding. And so you're not gonna advertise we're an auto mall in Newark. 
Now, as you go down south, in these areas here, you actually do have some housing, but quite frankly, housing isn't that common here. And the reason for that is a lot of these spaces here is actually industrial. So Newark for a lot of the places is a lot of logistics centers. So that's why you have an Amazon sorting center, you have a FedEx shop, you have Iron Mountain for shredding. You have a lot of these older industrial places by the edges of Newark. And why is that? The history is you can see, there's actually some pretty large train tracks and this is mainly for cargo to get up and down. The history of it too is you actually have this salt plant. If you actually look from an aerial view and you may see this over time, why is the coloring scheme so like pretty for many times versus the rest? It's because you have actually a lot of salt lakes and salt ponds here. And so that is why at times you will smell this because this is definitely material and it is around the place. And it's mostly on the western part and the southern part of newer. Now, the reason why most people will not actually smell this for the most part is because actually housing generally isn't here outside of the newer community, which Lenar and some other builders have been building over the last, I want to say, uh, seven plus years. So this area here to the west has a lot of new construction. Most of them are going to be townhomes. You do also have single families, but the single families will be a lot more vertical and they'll be newer. So there'll be two stories or three stories type of single family homes. This kind of middle area here, all of this is housing. Primarily, there's very few apartments in Newark. It's mostly residential and you'll have some parks spread throughout. Now, none of these parks are really big parks. Like Newark is not known for its parks. It doesn't have like a lot of tennis courts or anything like that, but it's still not bad for people to go hang around. There's still playgrounds. There are still some dog parks and things like that. Now, as you move more toward the Northern part here, the biggest thing that has changed over time here is this is a very big facility when it comes to like research park of biotech. So you have a lot of health sciences here. Lucid has an office out here, but you also have Pacific Research Center. So there's some smaller biotech companies. You have also Stanford Healthcare that has expanded there. And as you move more towards the highway along 84, which is the bridge to get to Menlo Park, you also have additional commercial plazas and a lot more Asian cuisine in this area. You can see there's 85 Bakery, you have Feng Cha Tea House, you have a 99 Ranch Market. So as you can see, your main two shopping areas is gonna be the Northern part. So there's a little bit of distance if you live in the newer community down South to get to any of the shopping areas or to get to restaurants. Or if you live on this side here, then you have access to a lot of shopping places because this is very, very close to Fremont and the variety of plazas and shopping centers mixed with Newark and Fremont. So that gives you a little bit of the breakdown as to how Newark is laid out. Okay, so let's talk about schools. As I mentioned before, Newark still does not have good schools. On average, the rating is between three to six or so. But in general, we're not gonna really highlight that, but we're gonna talk about housing and what you can expect there. The median Newark home for a single family is 1.427. Now there are certainly a lot of homes that are a lot more expensive. And there's also a lot of homes that are quite less and they're very, very small homes. Let's give you a breakdown so you can see for yourself. So if I'm looking at the top bracket, let's say I'm looking at homes more expensive than that. But you can see for yourself, what are the sizes? This is one of the benefits of so many homes in New York. You can see out of the last two months, about eight, seven of them were over 2,000 square feet and you can get it for about $2 million, between 1.98 to about $2.4 million. And some of them could have some decent lots, 6,000 plus lots. As you can see, if you're looking for that kind of size, there aren't that many places in that vicinity that can work. It's mainly gonna be some in Newark or you may have to start looking at Hayward if you want it less than that. The question is, where are these homes? So you can take a look. There are some regions that have a lot more. All the ones that are checkmarked are those that are above the median price. So a combination of a few things. These are more expensive because these are the newer single family homes that are quite big. These are the 2200 square foot single family newer places. You can see these are two stories. If you can move on with me here, you can see there's a few scattered kind of throughout here. This kind of chunk here, the houses are smaller and so they're under that 1.4 mark. You can see this area here by this kind of makeshift lake. Um, that area is, is actually quite frankly one of the nicest parts in Newark. You can see majority of the homes that are transacted there in the last two months are in that higher tier category. It's also, as you can see, very easy access to the grocery store, easy access to 880, easy access to the bridge. If you take a look at this, you also have some of them on closer to the edges here. Now, most of these are gonna be industrial space. They just happen to be larger homes for the area. That's why they're a little bit 
more expensive. Now you can see there's a lot of here that are just kind of sprinkled throughout. And you can see this is a very good area for those that want a single family that is under $1.5 million. That is why this is a very, very, very popular place for a lot of single individuals, couples, or those that are starting off the family. Schools don't matter yet, but you can get into a single family potentially under the $1.5 million mark. The other thing that's important about Newark is there's actually a good amount of newer construction homes. So take a look at this. Most of the newer construction homes are gonna be condos and townhomes. You can see that they're sprinkled in key areas, right? You have some here, these are gonna be condos. These are gonna be right next to the commercial plazas of those grocery stores, uh, the restaurants, easy access to the highway. So this is a good spot. This is a big community down here, what I mentioned before. A lot of more built by Lennar over the last couple of years. Here you're gonna see a lot of things resell over time because of people eventually grow out of it or they're tired of the stairs. And then you can see that there's a few also along the highway up to the top. You have a small little plaza there. And then this little section here, there are gonna be a lot of condos. Most of these are gonna be older condos that are out in this area. If you're looking at newer places, where are these places? Let me give you an idea. Of the places that are in the last 10 years, right? Out of the 25, 15 of them were built in the last 10 years. And the others aren't that old relative to some of the other cities they may be considering, right? So as you can see, there's 15 of them. Now, where are these newer ones? But heavy majority is what at the area that I brought up. That's all fairly new. And then you have a few other kind of spot regions that were built. Now, these are much, much, much smaller communities that were built in the past. There's no more being built there. But those are great options. You can see those prices range between one to like 1.4. And if you think about the, those that are 1.4, to give you an idea, take a look at these sizes. They're quite big. Those that are 1.4, 1.5, they're 21, 31 square feet. So you can see between, I would say 1.27 to 1.48, you have a pretty large town hall. These are gonna usually be three stories and they're gonna be at plus or minus 2,000 square feet. So this is, as you can see, why Newark has been so popular for many people as their starter home. It's not just the location, it's because the, the amount that you can get for your money is very, is one of the best in that area where you're still not having to drive too far like from a Dublin and a Pleasanton area. If this has been helpful, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna set up a consultation and a strategy call, my contact details are below, 408-547-4590. Let's go over a game plan to see if Newark or any cities could be a fit for you to be able to move for your next goal. I look forward to help you. See you in the next one. Bye now.